So here we are with the LFO for push loaded onto the track where we have a parameter that we want to control with the LFO. To do so, we need to select the LFO for push max for live device and move to the destination one bank. Turning the map dial and exiting the device to select another device within the same track. Moving any of the parameters here will automatically map the LFO to the parameter and change the name of the bank within the LFO for push device to indicate what it's mapped to. Within the map bank, you can set both the minimum and maximum range as well as unmapping from the chosen parameter by moving the eighth dial. Let's show that again, but this time map into the offset of the delay. If we now return to the main bank of the LFO for push, you'll see that we have control over the LFO itself with a visual representation of what the LFO is doing on the first dial. There's two versions of the device, one that is mappable to a single parameter and the other, as shown here, which can handle up to eight mappings. And to map to those additional parameters, simply repeat our earlier process by selecting a new bank of the LFO for push device.